Hello, everyone, and good evening. I'm here with uh, Mr. John Bosco, the current VP of NAPE. Um, so, Mr. John Bosco, welcome. And um, can, you. can you tell us a brief introduction about yourself for those who don't know you? Okay, many thanks, uh, Flora. And very glad to have this chance to have this uh, interview session uh, with yourself. Uh, John Bosco, which is my name, popularly called JV, also makes life easy for, for you to make it simple as JV. And uh, currently the Vice President of NAPE. And I work for Shell. Um, I've actually been in the industry uh, for 21 years now, actually. Wow. I started it's working since uh, 2000. Uh, started off with a landmark graphics, which is a highly button company, you know, dealing with the G&G software. And then um, after a couple of years, then joined Conoil, uh, an indigenous company. And then uh, in 2005, I joined Shell. Uh, and while in Shell, I think I've been around a couple of places. Started off in SPDC and moved to the Netherlands, to UK, then back in country in 2018. And uh, so that's what I do, uh, really. And, uh, and that's who I am. I'm a wow. geoscientist by background, by the way, with an MBA. Oh, that's great. So you're, you're very active um, geoscientist, has been all around, you know, every um, aspect of geoscience. <laughs> exactly. No, okay. it's exciting. And, and that's what the you know, work we do in exploration in geoscience. It gives us that space to really, you know, move around. Um, indeed. Okay. So um, when did you become a NAPIA member and how, how has been your experience so far as a NAPIA member? If I reflect back, I officially joined as an active member of NAPE in 2004. But before then, I have actually been very quite active with NAPE. Um, even all the way back in the university, even though uh, then we never had a NAPE in the school, it was NAGAMS, you know. And I was also the president of uh, NAGAMS in my school, which is an arm of, arm of uh, NMGS. But immediately I started working in 2000. I actually started to participate in NAPE activities, then attending the conferences and in all the events that were going on. But actually, it was until 2004 that I joined as an active member of NAPE, which means I've done 17 years now as a member. Wow, that's a long time, a very long time. Okay, so tell us, um, how does it feel to be the vice president of NAPE in terms of your experience so far? Well, as you know, um, the vice president of NAPE um, statutorily, based on the constitutional requirements, uh, takes care of NAPE properties. Mm -hmm. And by that virtue of being the chairman of the uh, project implementation committee, that has really kept me quite busy in the last months, I must tell you, um, because we've got a couple of properties, you know, some of them, the documentation is not in good shape. Uh, working with a very dedicated team members I've got in the committee, the likes of, uh, you know, Kano Kano, uh, the likes of Dr. Uh, Prince Adeshida, both fellows, uh, and the likes of Emeka uh, and um, Namso. We hit the ground running and kept us busy interacting with, um, you know, the lawyer that we have, the surveyors, and of course, with some of the key government parasitals like the Lagos State Development and um, Property uh, Corporation. Also, land ministry. So, we, we did a lot, and that kept me quite busy. So, it's been very good experience, both in delivering value for NAPE, but also learning some few things in terms of managing these kind of properties. So, that's one, and it's something I, a, a team that I chair. Okay. Then, I also have got the um, Distinguished Awards Committee, which I also uh, a chair. But again, in this one, working with some advisory council members uh, to be able to make sure our prestigious awards are really well done and the Members that really deserve it are given, you know, things like fellows. So that again has kept me quite busy as well. Uh, but of course, supporting the president in, in discharging some of her duties when uh, she may not be disposed to do so. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, we've got a great team in, in the ESCO and um, we all work together. And to be honest, what we've been able to achieve this year so far it can only be a collective effort. So it's been quite an experience, but a bit busy time working as the vice president. Um, of the association. Okay, so I'm going to take you back as regards the awards now, which you just mentioned as part of your duties as the, the current um, vice president of NAPI. So um, for this award night, for this upcoming um, NAPI annual exhibition and conference and exhibition, um, what should we expect? What are the event highlights? What should we, we look out for um, during this um, 
awards night for this year's conference. Yeah, um, to be honest, it's, um, I'm going to give you high expectations because it's our prestigious, uh, if I may call it, our own Grammy Award. And um, we're going to be having uh, some of our members that will be giving a uh, fellowship award. We're deserving members of our association. We also have other awards like Nuela. Um, in the night as well, we, you know, NAPE is a technical association. That then means we need to encourage our members to really showcase the new technologies, you know, new findings and new ways of finding oil and gas. And therefore, in the night, those that have come out top as presenters, be it the poster or oral, in terms of technical paper presentation, will be given and honored on the, during the night as well. Um, not forgetting our exhibitors who are sponsoring most of our activities and helping us, we also recognize some of them. So this will be some of the highlights uh, we're going to be having during the night. Uh, and by the way, um, those that are also going to be coming in new as ESCO uh, will be installed during the night. And we're going to be seeing a button moving from the current president to the new president, who is currently the president-elect. So and a couple of other varieties of activities we're going to be having, on, and that's going to be happening on the 18th of November. Oh, that's great. So that, that's, that's fantastic because I know the awards night is um, an, a prestigious event that most NAPE members look forward to. Um, it's a very big night for every NAPE member that attends um, this, um, that attends the um, conference. So thank you for that. So we know we should expect so much from you as the coordinator of that particular event. Okay, so I remember vividly that um, during your campaign, one of your goals was to launch out a mentoring cycle. And I would like to know from how has it been? Uh, what are the future plans, knowing fully whether you'll be leaving very soon and as regards to your position? So what you know, has you been experienced so far in launching out the mentoring cycle for um, the NAPI members? All right, so uh, that's absolutely correct. It was a promise and um, immediately I got into the position of the vice president, I set up a small team, um, three relationship managers that work with me to develop the plan. And we just got hit the road running, um, advertised again through the help of our publicity team to get those that want to be enrolled as mentees. We received, you know, it was wild, you know, very good um, acceptance. Over 150 people subscribed, but also because of the way we set it up, we wanted to have 20 mentoring circles as a pilot with 20 mentors from the industry. And that then means is that we needed to have about four people or so in a circle. But this is something really a bit different. It's not like not normal, unique, one mentee, one mentor relationship. No, yeah. it's going to be a circle. And that's what we're doing. So we needed to have about four mentees assigned to a mentor. That means we needed to scale it down and screen people based on certain criteria. At the end of the day, we were able to get about 80 of those mentees to enroll. And those 80 folks, widespread across the country, some of them overseas, but our members, and we have to now assign them, you know, four each. In few, in few occasions, we had about five and three and some, but of course, average of about four mentees to a mentor. And that has been going on in the last six months. And one good thing, and the major reason why um, I had this idea was that I looked at the industry. I, I'm an assessor in terms of trying to recruit some younger folks in the industry. What I noticed is that we've got bright talents in this country. And usually sometimes what you see is that when they come in, sometimes because they're not really probably guided, over after a couple of years, when they're moving from their early to mid career stage in their career, sometimes their performance begins to drop. And some of the leadership attributes you expect them to pick up in order to transit into that mid career is not really there. So I felt this is an opportunity to really bridge that gap to help our members in terms of how to develop their career as they move from early to mid career. That was one. Then the second thing is that I also observed that if you look at even NAPE today, the leaders that we have, if you recall, you know, NAPE started with young folks in 30s to 40s, in their mid 40s, right? And if you look at that age right now, I felt we need to equip them quite well. And to equip them to be able to take NAPE to the next level, we needed to link them to the older folks in the industry that have got experience. 
such that they can transfer the skills, learn from the mistakes and so their successes to be able to drive the industry in terms of finding more oil and gas, but also even moving us into energy transition. And that was the reason why we picked the best talent in the industry, right? If you look at the folks that we have, you know, top guys from Shell, from ExxonMobil, from Chevron, from, you know, IG, from IOCs, from the NMPC, from the independence and indigenous company, including the servicing companies, that's the spread of the, where we got the mentors, really experienced folks. And these guys are now transferring their skills to the emerging leaders that we have in the industry. And that was a key driver for me to initiate this program as a way of promoting what I call the organic talent growth. All right, so do you intend to continue this mentoring circle even after you leave? Yes, the answer is absolutely yes, because uh, recently we had uh, a, a connect with the mentors. We also co you know, conducted a survey uh, from those early mentees that are involved to check the feeling on how we've done so far in the last six months. And you know, one of the mentors described this as the C CSR of NAPE. Many other mentors said, well, this cannot stop. Most mentees are saying, well, this cannot even be just six months. They want it to happen in one year. So the, the interest is super high. Then also for us in the ESCO, we've also looked at this and felt that this is the right program to continue. Actually, in our last ESCO meeting, we discussed this and we did agree that we now need to institutionalize the Mentoring Circles program, set up a team, an ad hoc team that is going to run this program, uh, starting off uh, to continue from where we stopped from January of 2022. So the good thing is that we've done the pilot in the last six months, and now we've been able to pick some learning we will now make some adjustment, improve on what we have, and then, you know, again, hit the road running. And uh, we also now have opportunity to get in more mentors that will be interested. Because by the way, some of our top members asked me that they want to be, get involved to be mentors. But because this was a pilot program, we said, no, let's get going with this. So from general NSC, we'll have a chance to get more mentors and the more mentees to go join in this program. So to answer your uh, question, absolutely, yes. This is going to be continue, and ESCO is already looking at how to get this going. All right, that's great. That's fantastic. So there are plans on the way, and we should look forward to more mentoring circles um, in the future. All right. So Absolutely. what are your um, event highlights for this year's conference? Your major event highlight that you would you know be part of for this year's conference? Well, there are a couple, right? Um, I, I'm also in a couple of the committees, but I think. Um, up in my head, in my mind now, I think the management session is going to be very interesting. Okay. Uh, because if you look at the topic, we've got to be about looking at the uh, recently passed uh, petroleum industry bill, which is now PIA. And we're going to be looking into the impact it's going to be having in the oil and gas industry and also the energy transition. So it's looking at the present and it's going to also look into the future. So I think uh, that's going to be a very good session. And I know some of the speakers, uh, some of them already got in touch. They are really looking forward to participate. So it's going to be a fire. So please make sure you connect. And everybody that's hearing me, make sure you connect to the management session. It's going to be fire. I promise you. OK. So would you do us the honor to invite other members to this year NAPI annual conference and exhibition? Well, all I can tell you is that I've um, been at NAPI conferences over many years. Including, yes, last year when we had it at virtual, we are also participated virtually. And then this year is going to be hybrid, which means we've got the experience of fiscal conference, we've got the experience of virtual conference. Now, combining the two, you can imagine what you, you're going to be getting. So, if you haven't registered, please register because um, it's going to be fully loaded with all the activities starting from you know the pre conference workshop, opening ceremony, and then ending up with award night, which I chair. So I want to promise you it's going to be great. So please register if you have not registered and make sure you show up because um, it's always an opportunity for us to network and then continue the dialogue on how we move this industry forward. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. John Bosco Uche. It was nice having you on this session.